Hello, my name is Cindy Bishop, and I'm happy to share with you biologicals and how they can improve almond production. As I mentioned, my name is Cindy Bishop, and I'm the Western Regional Manager for Marome Bio. And I'm happy to share with you just product information with the total goal of mine to help you get uh, excellent results. Following my brief introduction will be Dr. Melissa O'Neill. She's our Senior Product Development Manager and she will bring to you our field data and uh, her findings for 2019 as well as 2020. Before I begin, let me just make a statement uh, with the Safe Harbor slide. Basically, as most of you know, Marone Bio is a publicly traded company and we will be sharing insights in this presentation and some forward thinking. And you are encouraged to do your own due diligence if you would like to invest in Marone Bio. Marone Bio actually was founded by Dr. Pamela Marone in 2006. And she took the company public in 2013 and is headquartered in Davis. Pam has dedicated her entire career to biologicals. And as of today, we have over 500 patents and over 18,000 plus microorganisms. Pam retired this year, and we have the pleasure of now having Kevin Helash as our leader and CEO. As you can see, our portfolio has many uh, biologicals. What I'd like to do uh, for this presentation, though, is limited to three, which is Regalia, Jet Ad, both a biofungicide, as well as Venerate, a bioinsecticide. What is Regalia? Regalia's active ingredient is actually a plant extract, uh, Raynortoria. It is a broad spectrum product covering many, many diseases and bacterial management. It is a liquid and it has a range of one to four quarts per acre. And we're going to get into that as far as what is the best use for specific areas. What is key is it is a preventative. And as with all biologicals, you must put it on the, or apply it on the on, onset of a disease. FRAC code is P5. It is highly, uh, uh, its ability to take mixed with other pesticides is very friendly and it can be take mixed with most and it can be used foliar as well as aerial. Regalia's mode of action is actually um, three parts. So as I, if I could just take your eyes and take a look at the circle right here and that just mimics a plant cell. And you can see where pathogens obviously are challenging that plant cell. Regalia basically once sprayed builds a defense against these pathogens. Layman's term is it's like us taking a supplement. And so that's how it wards off those pathogens. But also key, in addition to being a fungicide, it helps plant growth. So if you take a look at your uh, number two here, it strengthens the lignin, which helps to strengthen the cell, the cell wall. And then lastly, it increases chlorophyll and phytohormones, which helps with regards to photosynthesis. So two in one, you get fungicides as well as a, a plant growth product to, to build strength and ward off any of the pathogens. Key crops, as you can see, very many on, on the slide, but as I mentioned, uh, tree nut crops, we have a full range on the label. As far as diseases, you can see here, many, many diseases are controlled by regalia. For almond growers, I know you are challenged with the monolinea species, namely brown rot, almond hull rot, also shot hole. Regalia does an excellent job on these as well. The art of use, you can do foliar as well as aerial. So foliar, you have that range, one to four quarts per acre. Regarding the rate, let's just take bloom time. Um, at this time, you use the lower rate, which would be one quart per acre. After petal fall, you would go up to two quarts per acre. Keep in mind, you must apply preventatively prior to seeing the disease or on the onset, 50 to 100 gallons per acre. 
And what is key, very key, is repeat applications, intervals of seven to 10 days. You can tank mix regalia with most uh, other fungicides. Dr. O'Neill will talk about that. Or you can use it in rotation. If you want to use it in tree nuts for aerial, we are registered at a pint to a quart in a minimum of 10 gallons per acre. As just as in foliar, you must have repeat application of intervals of seven to 10 days. I'd like now to talk just about our other biofungicide, which is JETAG. It is very broad spectrum fungicide, bactericide as well as algicide. Controls both foliar as well as soilborne disease. And the active ingredient is parasitic acid, commonly called PAA. How does it work? Oxidation. It basically takes the plant cell and oxidates it. Very compatible with most crop protection products. In fact, I suggest it in combination with regalia, giving a one-two punch, jet ag for contact, and then regalia being able to provide residual of seven to 10 days. No pathogen resistance exists today and it leaves no residual, so it's environmentally friendly. It does have a danger signal word, so a closed mixing system is required, but it is OMRI approved, exempt with MRLs in zero PHI, four hour reentry, and it can be used both in organic and very commonly in conventional as well. Labeled crops, very broad, as you can see on this slide, and most of the nut crops, such as almonds, pistachio, walnuts, is on the label. As far as diseases, very broad spectrum, as you can see here. And I just would like to point out, again, the monolinea uh, species, brown rot, is uh, controlled by JEDAG. How to use it. Three applications are illustrated here. The first panel to the left is in ag. Uh, it has a range of two to four quarts. The lighter rate if you have less disease, the four quart or gallon per acre if you have a heavy infestation. You can apply it to the soil. It requires higher rates, one to three gallons per acre. And it serves also as a water treatment as you can see in the last panel. And you can do lighter rates. It's a half ounce per gallon just to uh, clean out your tank. And then for irrigation, it is 4.3 ounces to 50 ounces per thousand gallons. Now I'd like just to switch over to our bioinsecticide, which is Venerate XC. The active ingredient in Venerate is bulk holderia. It has a very broad spectrum of pest control, but specifically for almond growers, it is an excellent tool for NOW, navel orange worm control, as well as mites. It comes in a liquid, one to four quarts, and again, the rate varies with what the pressure is out in the field. And it has an IGR-like mode of action, meaning that it does not allow the insect to continue to molt and carry through to the adult stage. IREC code pending. It's very compatible with most crop protection products, and it's a foliar application. And just like all our products, it's OMRI approved, as well as MRL exempt, zero days PHI, minimum PPE, and a four hour reentry. Used heavily in organic, but common, uh, becoming more commonly used in conventional, conventional orchards as well. How does it work? Well, it controls it with uh, actually uh, three very different ways. First one is an exoskeleton degradation. Doesn't allow it to uh, form anything on the skeleton. A molting interference, I've already briefly talked about that. And then also ingestion. And I'd like just to show you a visual of what you can expect. And if you take a look at this slide right here, uh, to your lower left, you will see a venerate treated versus an untreated. The untreated, obviously, you have a robust larvae that is not discolored and kind of fat and happy. Where the venerate treated, obviously, it is uh, not allowed to molt and the coloration is uh, very, very dark. To the right, 
if you can see, you can see the degradation of the larvae as well. So these are the signs that you need to look for with regards to venerate and, and what kind of control you're going to get. Key target crops, big list, very broad spectrum, and it is registered for all the tree, uh, tree nuts grown in California. As far as labeled pests, uh, with regards to nut crops, let me just draw your attention that NOW, mites, as well as peach twig borer are controlled uh, with venerate, very broad spectrum. How to use it? One to four quarts per acre is the range. Generally speaking, if you're tank mixing it with chemistry, uh, one quart is acceptable. And really the sweet spot is between two and three quarts per acre if it's used alone. Foliar, uh, chemigation are some common uses, very tank mix friendly, very compatible with adjuvants, uh, especially oil-based products. And the pH, we like to keep it at six to eight. PHI. Why choose Venerate for NOW? And Melissa will be sharing with you, but our uh, past studies of two years consistently show an additional 2% less NOW damage. And I know that means money for you growers out in the audience. So consistent results enhance control, not only with the NOW, but you kind of pick up your PTB as well as spider mites. It will have an effect on those as well. And in combination with chemistry or without, you reduce the chemical load and also help with regards to resistant issues. As far as beneficials, the other thing that you can rest assured is that uh, we are not harmful to them. As you can see, there's a long list there where uh, we have done studies and uh, when venerate is sprayed, we do no harm to what is listed on the screen. Uh, and along those lines, uh, we are very, very low risk. All right, just as a summary for venerate, again, one to four quart, can't mix friendly, use adjuvants that help it spread, such as oil, avoid any surfactants, surfactants that are acidifiers and keep it between a six to eight pH. With that, I'd like to turn it over to Dr. O'Neill. Thank you so much, Cindy. And we greatly appreciate your overview of each of the Maroon products that were presented today. I have the pleasure of presenting some of our field research studies. And the first one will be focusing on the use of Venerate XD against navel orange worm. You see the BioUnite logos here, and I'd like to just take a minute for orientation, starting with that term. BioUnite is a concept at Maroon BioInnovations where we combine chemistry along with biological. Why would we do that? Well, we're looking for synergism, which is defined as receiving an additive effect when you're combining materials that is greater than the effect you might see when applying each material by itself. Up in the upper right-hand corner of the slide, you'll see a treatment timing table. There are two, slide, two different sites for this study, 2015 and 2016, and those correspond to locations in Selma and Merced, California, respectively. As you can see on the treatment timing table, we have a 10% whole split timing A, two different dates, and uh, timing B is 14 days after the 10% whole split timing. Essentially, those were in mid-July and late July this year. Shifting your eye over to the left-hand side of the slide, on the y-axis of the graph, you'll see the average percentage of damaged nuts, and that's due to navel orange worm. Here we have Alticor at 4.5 ounces per acre as the standard, applied at both treatment timings. That followed by venerate at one quart per acre, added to Alticor three ounces per acre in a BioUnite program. The next graph on the right-hand side is the venerate XC added to Alticor at the higher rate of 4.5 ounces per acre and at both treatment timings. Essentially what we want to show here is that the BioUnite programs, either the lower or higher rate of Alticor 
reduce the average percentage damaged nuts due to navel orange worm. And that is exactly the synergism we like to see with the BioUnite. Moving on to the next slide, we'll discuss a little bit more about navel orange worm in a separate study that was conducted in Escalon, California this year. For the treatment timings, there were two, the first in early June and the second in late July. The number of live navel orange worm per 100 nuts that were cracked out is located on the y-axis. With our untreated control in the brown, we see there are about 3.5% of the nuts with live navel orange worm. The standard material here was an AltaCore rotated with an Intrepid. AltaCore at the first treatment timing, three ounces, followed by Intrepid at timing B, 24 fluid ounces. Venerate XC on the right-hand side in the red was applied at two quarts per acre at both treatment timings and reduced the live navel orange worm per 100 nuts greater than what we saw in the AltaCore Intrepid, so getting good control, better than the standard in the study, and we definitely had a good a reduction below what was observed for the untreated control. Now we'll move on to our next slide and we'll talk about a different pest, PTB or peach twig borer. This study happened to be an Escalon on almonds. However, these data could also definitely be applied to peach as the pest tends to attack both crops. The treatment timing table up, hand, up right hand side of the slide and we'll see treatment A was at early February and that actually is a delayed dormant treatment timing. Treatment B was the first in season timing late March. The number of strikes per plot on the Y axis. We'll look at the untreated control in the brown and see that there were about six and a half strikes per plot and with these single tree plots that is quite a bit of damage due to PTB. The standard material included narrow range oil at 2.5 gallons per acre applied at that delayed dormant timing, followed by a late March application, Dipel DF at one pound per acre. <clears throat> Venerate at C in the green there on the right hand side, a four quart per acre rate applied only at the delayed dormant timing, reduced the number of strikes per plot by half if you compared it to the standard and brought down a near 6.5 strike per plot rate in our untreated down to one. So excellent performance by Venerate once at delayed dormant timing there. Now we'll shift our target over to the fungicide. Here we're looking at brown rot blossom blight. As Cindy's mentioned, definitely a concern coming up right before you know it after your winter break. We did a study with Syntec Research and Sanger. Here we had three treatment timings, 50% bloom, full bloom and petal fall. You can see the corresponding dates in the upper right-hand corner treatment timing table. On our y-axis, we have the total nut weight in tons per acre. So you might ask, why are you giving nut weights in a brown rot study? Isn't that a disease? Well, essentially, brown rot is attacking the petals and the immature developing fruit at their base. When the pathogen gets too severe, we lose the entire young nutlet. So here we're looking at the number of nuts that survived and were not attacked to a severe enough level to abort. So again, yield in tons per acre, looking at the untreated control in between 11 and 12,000 tons per acre total nut weight. Maravon 6.5 fluid ounces per acre at the BC timing was a standard material here and it actually underperformed the untreated control, a heavy pressure in the study. Our BioUnite program, we added that Maravon that was actually applied at the A timing, which is 50% bloom, followed by two applications of regalia at two quarts per acre, the regalia being timed at full bloom and petal fall. Here we saw a boost in the total nut weight tons per acre by about 1,000 tons per acre for this BioUnite program when compared to the untreated, and it was definitely way over what we observed for the Maravon standard when it was applied alone. Again, demonstrating that synergism principle of BioUnite. So I'd like to thank you so much for allowing me to share information with you and I'll turn it back over to my colleague, Cindy, to finalize with the product review. Cindy?
Thank you, Melissa. Appreciate your hard work and insight. With that, we'd like just to wrap it up. And um, in summary, I would like to emphasize what uh, Dr. Neal has looked at, and that's the BioUnite approach. We feel it's a new frontier, and it's truly, truly the power of biology with the performance of chemistry. And Venerate is one product that you can uh, count on in this coming season. As far as our recommendations, just to enhance your control of NOW as well as mites, the rate is one quart, not only NOW, but the PTV and my control will also be controlled. And it can be take mixed with products such as Intrepid or Altacor in your May spray, also early hull split spray, and then of course 14 days after. Bottom line is you're able to get enhanced control you're reducing some of the chemistry load on your acre. And I think very, very important, you are able to mix it up and not just do one AI. So you give it kind of one punch from the chemistry as well as a second punch from your biologicals. With that, I'd like to thank everyone for their attention and please take a note that I'm available, I have on the screen, my email as well as phone number, and I'd love to hear from you. We have a full team in California, and we hope to be of service.